So you've been enjoying your 1000 point games, but it's time for some new toys. I'm back to show you how to expand your forces and build up your collection into full scale warfare. 1000 points or bust, next. So, last time we talked about Beast Claw Raiders, or Ogre Maw Tribes, such as it is. Um, they were on the cusp of getting a new book. And, uh, well, the Ogre lines of models were a little bit outdated. By a little bit outdated, I mean they were terribly outdated. Um, and that has since changed in the intervening months since I shot that episode, so ooh, here we go. Um... <laughs> So this is now technically an Ogre or Ma Tribe list, uh, but it, it follows the same ideas. Uh, <laughs> so, fun story. Um, it's really, really easy to build a Beast Claw Raiders list at any uh, level, and the Ogre or Ma Tribe is no, no exception. So, um, if you'll remember last time, we were just like, hey, why don't we just get a Star Collecting Box? And, um, and so we got a Star Collecting Box. Um, we got a star collecting box and we built the 400 some odd point, uh, frost lord on thunder tusk, I believe it was, uh, because you can build both out of the box, obviously. And then after that, we were like, okay, well we need more Mornfang fang to go with the Mornfang. fang. So we had the frost lord, we had four more Mornfang, fang and then four more Mornfang, fang. And that, uh, kind of took care of business for us. Not much has changed, uh, to be perfectly honest. Um, but what we're going to do here is, uh, well, what we're going to do mostly is run into a problem because right at this point, um, Ogors are a little bit on the back burner as far as what GW wants to do with them. I don't think I've seen an updated box. Uh, for Maw Tribe specifically in a hot minute. Uh, and if you remember when I did the Feast of Bones unboxing, they had to see these massive gaps in their sprues, which signifies that they're older uh, and haven't been updated. So we're just gonna, we're gonna roll, we're gonna roll a little deep with this one. Uh, but we're just gonna, you know, we're, we'll figure it out. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna get another box of Beast Claw Raiders, and then we're gonna build up the Frost Lord on Thunder Tusk instead of the one of Stonehorn. Or if you built up a Stonehorn before, build up with the Thunder Tusk now. Uh, and then you just make, uh, make the Morn Fangs up with everything you have in the box, and you're good to go on that level. But that won't get us to 2,000 points, and that's an issue. So... Uh, but what we can do is we can grab an Ogor Tyrant, which just came out very recently and is so very cool. Um, and he's gonna he's gonna buff up our our ground forces a little bit, and he's also gonna hang hang in the back and not do a whole ton. Uh, but what he will do is waddle his large boy body up and uh, take care of anybody who hangs out in our backfield. Uh, so if you're dealing with like Stormcast who teleport around or anybody else who teleports around, he's going to be there with his lads to just kind of like be like, oh, I'm dealing with you problem. While your Beast Claw Raiders out of the box just going to go right up the front. Uh, and to assist in this, uh, we're going to conjure uh, on the one hand a pack of Icefall Yetis. <laughs> Ring. They're hard to find, but uh, you can get them special ordered. And uh, on the other hand, ring, we're going to put two lead belchers in there. And they're going to be the retinue for the uh, tyrant as he protects your back line while the other 14 models in your army go and deal with it. Uh, so... It's hard to deal deal with this sometimes, like especially with model lines like um, Beasts of Chaos, which will be coming out shortly. Uh, has a really limited model line right now, and the Doom Bulls and the um, other Minotaurs are still in metal, or if they're not in metal, they're still on square bases in the boxes. I'm relatively certain. 
So that makes it a bit of a pain to get hands on them. But, you know, you can always kind of proxy in or figure out, and especially since the, the intent of this is to like, okay, we're playing friendly games to learn these armies. Uh, you can proxy it in, you can figure it out as you go, and just kind of play maybe a little fast and loose with the rules as far as what you're allowed to put on the table. Uh, but ultimately, you know, you gotta, you gotta figure it out as you go. Um, but yeah, we got, <laughs> we got the tyrant, um, and he's gonna make your gut busters work great. Um, we're gonna get the <clears throat> Icefall Yetis to cover your back lines with the Tyrant. And then for everything else, there's Beast Claws. You didn't get into this sort of model line because you wanted to play with a lot of models. Let's be realistic. You got into this model line because you wanted to play with some big burly boys. And uh, big burly boys is what I brought you. So, this list is still by no means definitive. And your journey to 2,000 points may differ greatly. But if you got this far with me, I can tell you that everything you see here is available at your local game store. Thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, why don't you hit that subscribe button and get updated about everything that we're working on here. And while you're at it, you can check out our 1000 points or bust playlist here at the miniature rundown on Game Twaddle. Thanks for watching.